Welcome to Total Fit Heads. Serious fitness for not so serious people. Okay, being polite in a uh, workout situation. What? Don't give me that. Smell thing. weird. That doesn't it always? It smells it's like, like uh, wood shit or like um, rubber. It smells like the stuff you put under a gerbil's cage, you know? Yeah, what the heck? It's like it's what is earthy. That Wood chips? No, I don't it's not wood chips, it's like hay. Mulch? Mulch. I don't know. Sweet. He's sniffing hand tape. I don't even know what it is. Oh, medical tape. I have a bunch of it because I covered my toilet. It's a whole thing. But it's... It's a whole thing. <laughs> I had a bunch of it for work. <laughs> uh, but it's a fitness thing, I guess. You you would use that in wrestling, no? Uh, we would... I would tape my fingers together. My fingers... Your fingers get jammed real easily. That's actually why we together? weren't together. So you just have a paw, like a man? Uh, no, I would I would tape my pinky to my ring finger. Whatever finger is jammed, you just tape it to the finger next to it. Oh, when it's hurt. You're constantly jamming or twisting or pulling. So your this finger. is not a prophylactic. This is if you're hurting, then you do it. Prophylactic? Is that the word? Yes. Probiotic. Yeah. <laughs> Pre-bi. <laughs> yeah. Prebiology. So, yeah, actually, fun fact, you're not allowed to wear cut-off sleeveless shirts in practice because it's way easier to, like, get your finger caught in a shirt and then it just whip. So you have to wear a full-sleeve shirt? Long yeah. sleeve? Not long sleeve, but, like, a tight-ish t-shirt. Huh. Because if it's too loose, it's way easier. The shirt wraps around the finger and then you're get, you're just pulled the yeah. wrong way. Or, yeah, it hurts so, so bad. And then if you, like, touch it, it just... Hurts. How much noise are you making out of your mouth when you're wrestling? Oh, good question. Mm -hmm. Not a lot. Really? You're like breathing heavy. But it's not like boxing where you're like, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> yeah. Or like, <laughs> you know, it's none of that. Sneezes. <laughs> yeah. Some people would do that, honestly, uh, but it was rare. And frankly, it was, I thought it was a disadvantage because I'm like, Oh, I heard this. I heard the sound. I guess you're about to do that move that you always do when you make that sound. It's a so tell. It's pretty obvious what mm. you're about to do, my man. Bad so poker. it's what you hear is like sneaker squeaking. <laughs> it's like kind of haunting me, actually. <laughs> like, those those music videos without the music. Have you seen that YouTube channel? It's so yeah. funny. Yeah. Oh, where there it's like a foley artist doing whatever the sounds would be if there was no music, and it's mostly like sneakers squeaking because yeah, somebody's just dancing, or yeah. <laughs> if it's a Nicki Minaj video, someone's squirting ketchup. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so that's what wrestling is just like one of those. Videos. It's like it's like 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 sort of low level breathing heavy mm -hmm. panting ish, and it's a lot of squeaking, and then it's like <laughs> like bodies like falling on. A rubberish mat. Yeah. You know? A wrestling mat is like a really, really, really thick yoga mat. Okay. Um, it, it's, so it's, squishy or... Sometimes squishy. it's really squishy and that's awesome. I really yeah. like that. And sometimes it's not squishy and it sucks because that's it hurts surprisingly and you can't do anything. unregulated. If they're like, well, sometimes the basketball hoop is 11 feet and sometimes it's 9. Well, in soccer it's not regulated. It's just, oh, yeah. it's dimensions. It's just, yeah, grass, or turf, or... No, 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 well, yeah, that's that, um, it's that surface, but the, the size of the field is not regulated. Really? It's just dimensions. It has to be this by this, a, a, you know what I mean, a ratio. So you can have a huge soccer field in one state, <gasps> or like a I didn't know one. that. Yeah, it's weird, right? It's like, yeah, it's like a video. You have a ratio of what would fit in an iPhone, but it could be various sizes. Right. We're all weird. Weird. Huh. But it's that it's funny that you mentioned that because I watched this movie about wrestling and they had these really realistic scenes, high school wrestling, mm -hmm. um, and it was it? those sounds. No, <laughs> thank God. <laughs> Although it has a couple of incredible lines that my dad would always say. There's one part where he's not eating any dinner, and the mom is the kid's like cutting weight, and the mom is like, "Billy, you have to eat something," and the dad goes, "He's in training." Like he yells at the mom. And so then every time something even mildly, like I was doing something dumb or dangerous, my dad would turn to my mom and be like, he's in training. And I'd be like, shut up. This is so oh, stupid. That's great. This is but, where you get your sense of humor. Yeah. But they have this scene where it's like the, it's like an intense match. And yeah. it's just, there's no music. There's no like dramatic 
whatever. It's oh. just the sounds. And I remember like getting a little like triggered kind of because I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> I'm back in that. Oh, you know, like it's so scary. It was that accurate. They did a good job. Well, what they did was they hired wrestlers who could act mm. instead of actors who could wrestle. Mm. And let me tell you, the movie reflects that for sure. Like, that's, oh, right. <laughs> who could act, <laughs> air quotes. That's, that's the choice they made and they did a great job okay. at what they did and blah, blah, blah. But it for sure is a weird, it's this incredibly weird feeling because uh, it's so intense. Yeah, um, crazy. And the sounds, like, really, I was like, whoa, I'm back. Holy moly, this is insane. That's nuts. Like, I'm sure it's like if you hear, if you're watching a hockey game in between periods and, you know, the guy's like, hey, everybody, welcome to the blah, blah, blah. Yeah. The Zamboni and all that stuff. And Suddenly I'm back on the ice. You're like, whoa. Helping them shovel. Where's my shovel? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I ask because if your finger does get caught and you're like, blah, 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 does that get lost in all of the grunting, or they like you can sort of tap out in a no in a noisy way? Uh, yeah. If you get hurt, you you make like a I'm hurt sound, and it's pretty audible. Mm. What's funny is though, you, I couldn't hear like the whether there's a crowd, they're all screaming at you or whatever. Mm. I couldn't hear. It. You can never hear anything. Oh, the the guy that's right next to you. Well, like, in here so and... like I'm I'm we're wrestling. My coach is right over there, and he's like, "Double, do a double." And I'm like, I can't. I could never hear anything yeah. anybody says. You're like, it's too fast. It's too intense. You're in like a weird dimension. You can't yeah, hear anything. for sure. Or and not even remembering. Now this is making me think of the theater when I leave. <laughs> when I leave the stage, it's it was a blur. Right. Is it the same it's for you like whenever you leave the ring? It's like, what happened? Yeah, in fact, a lot of times, when I started getting really good, it was because uh, my dad or somebody on the team, we, we started filming ourselves, and you'd go back and watch it, and you're like, why did I do that? That is bizarre. I didn't yeah. do that, you know, and then you correct mistakes. Huh. But if you do, I couldn't remember, I, you know, for the life of me, I, couldn't, I could like kind of remember what happened, sure. but I don't like, like I, I remember one time really specifically being like, how did I get here? You know, and I'm like, is this? I'm good. Wait a minute. All I, all I have to do is this, and I'm done. It was a very weird, like, what just happened? Moment. Good job, former me. <laughs> yeah. This is exactly where I wanted to be. Good stuff, pal. <laughs> you like, oh, you, nice. you like, you smack, you smack somebody's butt when they do a good job, and it's your own yeah. brain. <laughs> butt. Your own brain's butt. <laughs> your brain's butt. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna call reading for now, and I'm just, it's glute day for my brain. <laughs> so gonna, Heavy squats of reading um, comprehension. For my brain's butt. <laughs> okay, wait, but there's gotta be etiquette for wrestling, right? Is the butt, the butt touching okay? Uh, it like was okay. I was never a fan. I, I specifically was like, I'd really appreciate it if you guys stopped doing that. Mm -hmm. that's Etiquette for wrestling it. is well. There, there are actual rules where you have to have, you have to shave one butt touch per round. <laughs> one butt touch. No moon landings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they touched. That's it. We're done. Time, time, oh, time. The gal that's the Clorox. It. <laughs> uh, you have to cut your fingernails. And you have to shave. Oh, and they check? Yeah. Huh. In high school. And, and in college, but they're they're looser in college. Have you seen someone show up and they're like, that's not yep. shaved enough, and they made, made them do it? Yep. Hmm. Which, 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 Chicks and, ever? In high school, which is incredibly intimidating. For someone to be like, sorry, your opponent needs to go shave. Oh, you're and like, I'm like, I'm a prepubescent boy, you know? <laughs> <laughs> do you ever use leg hair to your advantage? You get a people, would, people would wear leggings. Uh, that was actually people in wrestling wore leggings before I've seen anyone ever wear leggings and mm. I thought it was so dorky it's in now it's in yeah you'll see the the cardio dudes you know the dudes at the gym that aren't lifting heavy but they're doing something athletic and I'm like why are you moving laterally that's stupid and then, <laughs> <laughs> when are you ever gonna do that <laughs> do you play tennis for a living honestly but they're always wearing leggings and then shorts over top yeah what is that well, that's the style. I know. Um, and I will say, guys. frankly, I, I I would imagine that if if we if guys wear leggings, it's just dick and balls hanging out. Oh yeah, for sure. I never thought about that. It's not it's not a, because you're trying to be more fashionable. It's that you have business. It's that, both. Yeah. It's definitely both. Yeah. Uh, well, but I like I know guys who work out in just the leggings, and I'm like, well, yeah, well, there it is. <laughs> 
good stuff. <laughs> Why is that not catching on on Instagram? I don't know. I'm, I'm sure. Maybe. It starts here. <laughs> starts right now. <laughs> I like. I have a couple pairs of leggings. Um, and you wear Britney's. I've seen. I it. wear Britney's. Well, Britney got me. A, Ultra Angel leggings in like XXL, which is oh, still, like, okay. that wasn't... It's still like painted on. You know? Yeah. Uh, but like we did a yoga video and I wore leggings because I thought it was funny. And then when I was editing it, I was like, okay, I'm just going to have to like a moving a blur, blur circle around my crotch. <laughs> Motion you know? tracking your dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's rough. Okay, so butt touching is a maybe depending upon the person. Yeah, I would say the biggest thing is um, take a shower. Did you? You got people that were just like once in a while you get a smelly kid and you're like, dude. Uh, okay. Maybe that's our secret re weapon. Did that's what they were down? saying. No, they didn't. But I, I remember just being like, dude, uh, you're such a jerk. You know, and yeah, then I kick, kick the. And on conversely, I remember one time like getting a guy's arm and smelling his armpit, and it was like, "Wow, that is really Ooh, pleasant. Thank you." Fresh. But it's it's a weird thing because you're like suddenly very like close to somebody. Yeah. Physically. Right. You know? Somebody you've never seen before. Yeah. And and might not ever see again. You know. Interesting. Yeah. Because with the dance, you know, a lot of dancers are comfortable physically with other people, but it's always your dance company, right? Right. Or it's your not this like, okay, we're bringing in some strangers now. You gotta yeah. lift them up. Pair off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Huh. Yeah, it's a weird. It was a weird one. But at least we were wearing. Like I don't understand how like jujitsu people wear those geese. Like that's a heavy. It's like wearing yeah. trench coat level fabric. Well, that's a you part know? of it too, right? It's that's a, a tool that takes it down. Like, you know heavy what do you do you grab the belt right you definitely grab the belt you yeah. grab the collar you got the slit you grab somebody's sleeve another huge no no yeah which seems to me so non-transferable to a street fight <laughs> but they say street fights always end on the ground so yeah. training that type of grappling is what you should do yep i don't know i don't know i think i think knowing hips we talked about hips 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 uh, you know, uh, the, the my favorite joke to make when I see a jiu-jitsu guy and we're talking about street fighting is my impression of a jiu-jitsu street fight, which is like, hey, what's up, what's your problem, bro? Hold on. And then he like flutters out his mat. <laughs> <laughs> and then he starts like, he's like, all right, so just watch my left knee. It's a little wonky. <laughs> you know? And then they like, all right, let's go. And, yeah. they get and, then, and I'm like, dude, that's not how that's going to work. But, yeah. Uh, whatever. No, I know. And even, you know, street fights in movies, are, that you're landing punches, you're dodging. It's not like that at all. It's just like free-for-all, punch, punch, punch from all sides. Chaos. Yeah. Ugh. The one, yeah, it's just, it's just chaos. I mean, you want to talk about something moving really fast and having no memory of it. You know, that's street just, fight. that's a mess. Did I ever tell you about the one I got into, in, or the bar fight I got into in um, Austria? No. <laughs> What? All right, we should actually get to the real subject matter, but yes, um, I was there. I was in Austria for um, just like taking a couple classes uh, and uh, over the summer because I was study doing extra abroad. credits or whatever. Okay. I was I was studying abroad, but it was over the summer, so it was just only a couple of it wasn't a semester. Um, and my friends had been there the whole semester. They were from another okay. school. They were from Seattle or University of Washington or something like that. Yeah. And so I'm sitting there with my buddy, Zach, shout out Zach, and uh, he's like, oh man, I can't believe this, this girl just walked in, and apparently they had had this huge drama back and forth, and her and him and the boyfriend, and blah, 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 blah. And then they, the guy comes over to the table, and they start yelling at each other in German. And I had been there for like three, two weeks. So it's just two, two Arnolds yelling at each other. <laughs> and then eventually they like they get really heated, and I'm sitting there. I felt so dumb because I'm like, oh man, my language is not there. I'm catching one out of every three words. They seem really mad at each other, but I have no idea what's going on. And I'm just like sort of sipping my beer, and then eventually like he just one of them like more of the German guys' friends show up, and they're all yelling at Zach. And then one of them just like punches Zach in the face. Oh. And I'm like, oh, okay, well that translates. And you're in a foreign country, oh And then no. I just get up and I'm like, hey! Uh, English, does anyone, do you guys speak English? 
and then another Can we guy. This? Yeah, and then another guy like reaches over his friend and punches me, and then I just grab the guy next to me, like the closest person to me, and started like tussling, and then it like devolved so bad. But I remember oh being like, I don't even know what's going on here. I don't even speak the language, you idiots. But then suddenly I was like in the middle of this whole melee. Getting punched over someone else. Ugh. Yeah, I, I, I'm like, I don't even know the girl. I didn't like. I don't know what's going on. I felt so stupid. I would never felt more dumb. But I, yeah. I mean, I'm like, at that point, I'm worried about, you know, being in a foreign country, getting put in jail for whatever, and not having any sort of rights. Yeah, or right? <sighs> well, glad you made yeah, it, it back. Nice. It worked out. Everything worked out okay. <laughs> the, the, English? Yeah, I felt like, I am so sorry, you guys. Uh... I've only been here for a week and a half. I really, I'm, I'm taking my classes, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> it was dumb. Yeah, okay. it was it was a scrum, and then the gigantic German bouncer, Austrian bouncers, came in and just like pulled us apart like little children. It was mm -hmm. amazing. Mm -hmm. I'm picturing more Arnolds. Yeah, it was a bunch of Arnolds everywhere. <laughs> and then luckily, the bouncer who pulled me off. He pulled me off of the guy and he like threw me behind the bar and he was like, stop, good. <laughs> oh good, he speaks English. And I was like, oh thanks man, that's awesome. I'm oh. just going to sit here. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was great. That was fun. Huh. Shout out Zach. Uh, okay. So, gym etiquette. So, gym, gym etiquette. Gym etiquette. Uh, what is your gym etiquette? Why did you bring this up? Brought this up because I'm at a new gym. Ooh. And we talked about it comes up a lot. Where you, I remember your story where the girl was like, I know this, I don't know you don't want my advice, but you're going to hurt yourself. Stop stretching like that. And she helped you. Yeah. I love that. Me Some too. people don't. No, I think a lot of people would have been really pissed off. Yeah. But luckily it was something that I, it, I didn't care because I was so bad at it. It's not a part of your self-esteem. But I feel like you're the type of person that isn't going to take it personally, even if someone talks about your deadlifting. Maybe, like, your wrestling form. <laughs> You'd be like, how dare you? Excuse me. Pardon. <laughs> Cops are angry. Yeah. Shocker. Uh, yeah, so I'm at this new gym. Uh-huh. Do you love it? I do. And Why it's did you join the new gym? You have, a, you have a great a gym. Justification. Well, uh, have you seen on TikTok... <laughs> There, they have gyms. There is a mosquito problem in LA right now. A foreign mosquito was brought over here, some crap like that, and I get eaten alive. Oh my god! In my gym, it, so it's sorry. awful. And they're the type that will bite multiple times in a row, right? So you, it's not just one bite; it's like a bunch, and then you see them and you murder them, and you have your own blood on your own hands, which That's is just infuriating. But then their primal. own friend comes in and. <laughs> So it's been a lot of that, but that wasn't... <laughs> and then you rub your blood on your <laughs> eye. And I'm like, that's it. You show up, tell all your friends. <laughs> Let this be a warning to the when mosquito population. Bite his wing off and spit it out. <laughs> that wasn't even the initial reason I started, because you know I was going to LA Fitness. Yeah. So, and before that I think I tried out Gold's. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have a shoulder injury because um, an acquaintance of mine challenged me to get a muscle up in the year 2022 mm -hmm. and I may have pushed too hard and now I have biceps tendonitis. Who could have seen that coming? You if, pushed too hard? But if you saw that coming, why did you challenge me to, to do this? I don't know. Anyway, my shoulder hurts. So I had to stop doing functional fitness stuff and use little cable things so that I don't rotate in the right way. No, it's, see, now he's, good, good, feel bad, because I'm definitely probably getting a tattoo at the end of this year. <laughs> oh, I forgot, yeah. You forgot? That oh, why bet. did I bring it up? I keep remembering that's the bet. I forget what the term is. The... Yeah. If you haven't seen or heard the episode, the bet is that if I don't get a muscle up, and it could be any type, right, bar? Strict, kipping, we didn't even say. I've been working on strict ring. It's not important. It's kind of important. If I don't get it by the end of 2022, I have to get a tattoo of Max's choosing. That's true. 
I get to choose. You get to choose place, or I yeah, get to choose they, place. I, he doesn't choose place because I don't need a face tattoo at this point right. in my life. But I choose content and size. No, not size. Mm, we'll need a mediator then. Oh. You're right. Size. Neither of us should be able to determine. Kim nonstop size. is is the size mediator. Does she she seems tattoos? impartial. I don't know. No, I don't. Weird. I don't know. I think she works I bet for she Apple. Does. They can't hire anyone with ink. I bet she does. Really? Yeah. You want to bet? No! <laughs> I hate betting with you. Double or nothing, two tattoos. Anyway, I was going to LA Fitness. Um, it was cool because Christine got me a discount through her work. Mm -hmm. It was just 20 bucks a month. That's great. How awesome. Um, but she stopped going there, and I was like, okay, well, I'm not paying the full price for this. But then I found a cooler gym, and I was like, I will pay full price for this. <laughs> so. Why is it a cooler gym? Because it's like stupid and exclusive and there's a pool and a workspace and they have events and it's everything's really nice and clean mm -hmm. and barely anyone in there but I think it's because it is so, yeah, I don't think too much, you know? So it's it's cheaper than Equinox, hmm. which is cool. Well, not anymore. If you tried to join, they'd up the prices. Well, but Equinox is the most expensive, isn't right. it? Right. Okay, but so it's not the yeah. most expensive. It's close mm, Yeah. Well, 75%? Yeah. Yeah, I'd say 75%, but now they're charging more than the Equinox, and they cut off that now there's only a wait list. It's like this exclusive stupid thing, and Christine didn't get it. Oh, she's going to feel bad that I... She didn't get up. in? So we applied oh, at the no. same time, and they asked for your socials, and the only thing I can think is that they... They asked for your socials? Yeah. Oh, this it's is... stupid. You're going to... Yeah, you hate it. Anyway, you should come. Insta gym. I get one guest per, per year. year, so you should join me. <laughs> uh, it's more like, a, oh, so they're competing with Solo House. She would be House. thrilled if I'm the one guest. Oh, no, no, sorry. So Christine, a few weeks later, then got accepted. Oh, oh okay, okay. So it was like me, we applied at the same time, and there was me, and then I was like, what's up? And I'm going there for a while, and I'm asking them about it, and they're like, well, you have your guest passes, so that'll be nice. I'm like, what? Oh, my God. If you buy a guest pass, it's 100 bucks for a day. I think that is the most that's the biggest scam in the world. The guest a passes. gym guest pass yeah. being as expensive as like a full membership basically. I used to go to the climbing gym and they would give you a guest pass every month. And I, and that was great because yeah. it using someone else's guest pass is what hooked me to go to that gym, you know? Yeah. It's like a, a a marketing thing, but whatever. So now we're both going there, which is great. So it has so you like that it has the pool mm -hmm. and a bar. And it's got a bar, yeah, and a restaurant. A restaurant. And Although a you can go to the restaurant bar. if you're not a member, so if you wanted to I check that out, I wouldn't deign to go to this exclusive instant fitness gym. It is. There are a lot of plant-based options. Nice. For in okay. For someone who's plant-based. Yeah, they have like a spa too, but I don't. I haven't. I'm not gonna go get a massage there or whatever. I remember my old gym, because in my brain there's always two types of gyms. There's like the crappy. Basement gold, so just which a is bunch also of iron, super fun, but then awesome you get staff. For exactly, exactly, you can never shower there. It was disgusting. scary at LA Fitness. Just using the benches, I'm like, what is? And then the whole monkeypox thing is happening. Yeah. And but on the other end of the spectrum is there's that super fancy gym that has the cafe and yeah, has, like it has it's incredibly cold and it smells like lilies and you know what I mean like. <laughs> Yeah, that, like remember my old gym in the Palisades? I yeah. loved that gym. That was awesome. And you were in early, so that was cheaper for you too. It was cheap for me. And they had a workspace. I would go they had like couches oh, and yeah. fire okay. fire pits and stuff like that. So it was like a it was so very house similar. competitor, yeah. Okay. It was um, cool. And it was it was great. And they they actually what's crazy is they had free classes. Whatever you wanted, yeah. as many as you Same. wanted. Bike you know, dance, jazz. I just took a boxing whatever, class. Boxing class. Yeah. yeah. So that I think is really worth it, especially because some of these classes are incredibly expensive. Right. Totally. So you're doing a class pass and then you can only do three a month or something. Yeah. yeah. So I get what you're saying. Sometimes it's nice to splurge on stuff like that. Yes. And I also consider it a business expense because I'm like, Christine, you have to hold a camera and then I can count this Bingo. as work. Also, although they have a no tripod rule, which I'm like, ugh. <sighs> and then I, cause I asked in the tour, I was like, what is your policy on shooting? And they're like, yeah, you can film, you know, if you want to look at your form, just, we have no tripod rule. And I was like, is human tripod okay? No, I didn't ask that. <laughs> just seems my human tripod. Um, and he, but the guy at the tour was like, yeah, because we don't want, you know, those Instagrammers or whatever, people shooting content. And I was like, oh, because you're speaking to one of them 
Don't you dare speak ill of me in my content making. Also, you just got through saying that my socials is why you accepted me. Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's nonsense. Nonsense. But I am waiting for it to get crowded -er, cause I, I have yet to wait for a machine. For oh, one that, single machine. That was my other question. So, you like the amenities. A lot of machines. What were in your garage gym, what is not in your garage gym that you're psyched about that is in the gym gym? In the gym gym, they don't have rings, so I can't go and hurt myself, because if they're there, I'll do it. <laughs> Which I still work out in my home gym and Bingo. make it worse. Uh, they have cables, so I can go, like, I can do a same sort of ring movement, but without my whole body. Mm -hmm. And, you know, using a band when you're doing ring pull-ups isn't the same as a, a the pressure or the same weight throughout the movement when you use a cable so that's been better and it sort of helps me not injure myself but i'm still i should just not do anything mm. i used to in when i was an athlete like a sport athlete mm -hmm. i used to sort of scoff at the people who use the cables mm -hmm. i'm like dude that's so you don't want to target stuff like that specifically you want a general like, I want to push a human being. Right, I, I want, want to use to... all my muscles in tandem. Yeah, yeah. and balance. And, you know, what's it called? Close, uh, closed. Mm -hmm. Like when you do presses standing versus sitting, it's like closed. Oh, no, I don't know. Something. Anyway, it, it, like I scoffed at the, the cable machine. Sure. Now, I love the cable machine. I know. I know, it's great. And I think it's, in some ways, it, like, for example, I like a cable bench press more than I like a barbell bench press. Go on. Because oh, my hands can move. Oh, you're using two individual cables. I thought you were connecting it to a bar. No, no I do each. two handles. Yeah. I, I do a seat, so I'm, it's, you know, I'm still pressing straight forward. You can do the range forward. of motion that you need. And, and my hands can go towards each other, mm. or they can wobble up and I, down. That's why you have an I upper can, chest. I can lower it's... my shoulder, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Whereas with the bar, sometimes my wrist would really hurt, and I'd you know, be so heavy, I'd have to hold it that way. And you have one way to do it correctly. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's kind of like the, um, what's it called, kabuki yeah. bar, but an extension of that. Right. Right, right, right. You know? Yeah, that's cool. So, and, so and you it'll... can't bounce it off your chest and cheat. Yeah. yeah, and I don't care if I can just drop, you know? Yeah, I mean? you're just like, oh. I'm not going to just drop 500 pounds. <laughs> can you call the spotter over here, like, holding the cables at the gym? <laughs> can you just, just show me to grab this? Pull the, pull the pin, pull the pin, pull the pin. <laughs> Boom! You know? Oh, thank God. Okay. Yeah. So, I, I think the cable, I scoffed at the cable a lot. And yeah. I think if you use it in the... There's ways to use it in a really nice, um, yeah. sort of productive way, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's certain things that are weirder, like so shoulder side raises, for example. I still really like the dumbbell, but mm -hmm. I understand that the cable is a better, it's a better... Constant um, tension. A, a constant weight tension. Yeah. You know, because as the, as the dumbbell, dumbbell gets... gets lower, it gets easier. Yeah, exactly. And or, higher, it's harder. Exactly. And so yeah. it's a constant one. Shortened overload, as they say. And then there's ways you can do, like, you can do the cable raises up, and it's still sort of productive, whereas if you do that with a dumbbell, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> stuff like that. <laughs> and know? I laugh at you. Yeah. Yeah. So I think the cable machine is a really God. crazy... I mean, I mean, hey, you know who has a cable machine? Brian Borstein! <laughs> we have to bring him up one ep once an episode. Hey, man. <laughs> Once rule. an episode. <laughs> oh, bring him up. I yeah. said bring him on. Oh no, that'd be great. Yeah, let's FaceTime him. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord, how embarrassing is that he happened to be watching an episode that we talked about him and we're like, oh, so weird that one time we brought him up. Happened to be. That listening. never happens. <laughs> In the first 20 minutes of an episode, usually it's around it's a minute little later 25. Yeah. When birds come up. <laughs> <laughs> birds. Uh, okay. So getting back to the main idea, I got, thank you for justifying my purchase, mm -hmm. my monthly fee to go to this social club, which mm -hmm. that's part of how they sucked me in. They called it a social club. And I was like, cool, I'm going to meet other meatheads or high performing socialize. people in Hollywood. And... And it'll be cool. That's also why I joined the Insta Gym and the No yeah. Limit. Which. And then that sort of went off the rails. It did. She now, oh, I told you, she now, the wife of the Insta yeah. Gym guy now goes to HiMat. Wow. Yeah. Oh, HiMat's the name of the gym, by the way. If you want to Google it, 
Uh, it's very exclusive. They probably won't even let you look at the <laughs> button to push to it's apply very for the wait list. It's probably not even on Google. You know what I mean? It's very <laughs> exclusive. <gasps> okay, so Social Club, right? I actually made friends with people at the No Limit gym much more than at this new one. Yeah. So etiquette wise, everyone's got headphones on. Yeah. Uh, because people aren't even waiting for your machine, there's zero eye contact or interaction, <laughs> which honestly was worse at LA Fitness because you didn't want to make eye contact with people because then you would have to be annoyed by them working in or something. So everyone was trying not to be right. social at all. This at least it's not we're avoiding each other, but yeah, no one's talking. I, I've made zero friends. I guess I haven't used the workspace yet, but I'm not the type to go sit with my laptop and what's the workspace is it like a it's like a we work it looks like that or, or like um no they're not desks though it's more of a loungy kind of yeah. okay like a coffee couch. shop yeah feel. yeah like that okay also i was like what is the policy on shooting in this because it's really pretty well designed yeah. and they're like mm, you'd have to talk to mm. like, what the heck i feel like that's one of those like just to ask for forgiveness yes type situations love that well, I'm jealous. I, that sounds really, really great. I didn't realize how much I, le I liked my gym until I left. Oh, yeah. That you got a lot out of it. And I, and I was so bougie that when I joined a crappy Golds, I was like, mm, I don't know. <laughs> you, know? <laughs> you know, it's just a change of pace. You sure. go in thinking about, you go in expecting, if you go in expecting what you're going to get, yeah. then you were not disappointed. Right. Whereas I, I went into Golds, crap gym expecting fancy pants yeah whatever it's called with the nice towels that are always clean i mean when i tell you so many clean towels and they're i use they're two twirled oh somebody know? does that for you wow. there's one of those gyms it's like um have you ever been to this is kind of a very specific one but have you ever been to a florida retirement country club no well the gyms are awesome yeah <laughs> and they have like they have like um, aftershave and like those barber things, the blue. Yeah, okay, okay. Like, like you don't even have to bring your own comb. And they have like a bunch of razors. Barber side or whatever. Sha shaving yeah. cream and stuff like that. Solid. It smells like. Um, they do have razors. I hope they're not watching this because I, I do not buy razors anymore. I take them from High Match. Nice. Well, yeah. how's your locker room? Lovely. It's yeah. gorgeous. Like, people on Instagram will do gym tours of this place just to show all of the different spaces and living things. They have a lot of plants. Nice. <laughs> mm, yes. Thank God. Uh, okay. I can't believe that we pulled off a beer mile in your Fancy Pants gym, too. I know. Well, they screwed up because the Fancy Pants gym was spectacular. The clientele was median age, was like 150 years old. So <laughs> really, it was using really that rower. perfect. <laughs> yeah. But then they, they were like, we're going to do... I don't even know what they called. I think they call it cross training section. They had yeah, a, a huge fitness, yeah. blue turf. It was like grass turf. They had a bunch of sleds you could push. They had a, um, a boxing, a heavy bag. Yeah. They had a like a jungle gym type thing with a TRX on it. They had all this stuff for like outdoor. I, I guess it's. I don't know if you call it CrossFit space, but it's um, cross training is what they called it. Mm -hmm. And then nobody would use it because it's all the old ladies on just just sort of meandering on their 1.0 speed treadmill, which yeah. is great. That's all they can do. Or they're getting there's a massage table and people would just stretch all day long. And I'm like, that's that's actually really smart. Yeah, really good for you. But then we had the whole cross training section. I saw, I literally never saw another person on the cross training yeah, section other than being like, oh, what's out here? Oh, this is so nice. Alright, I guess let's go inside, you know, like, so, so we, we, just that's, that was the way that we, like, pulled that off, because I was yeah. like, if we drag it out here, no one's going to bother us, thank God. Snuck beers in, took the rowers outside, easy peasy. Yeah, that was a fun one. Ah, okay, so my question is, people have headphones on, should I still initiate conversation, because I've already started doing this. Yeah, absolutely not. Ah, okay. One million percent no. Yeah, but, oh, and then what if I, like, comment, like, a nice thing about their form? So that they... Uh, are, are you asking me how to really socialize easy. right now? Yes. <laughs> so, real, real quick, 
like how do I make friends? <laughs> oh, I did make friends with the people the work there because they are required not to wear headphones and so when they're walking around cleaning stuff I'll chit chat it up and they have to talk to me because I paid to go there. <laughs> yeah. I paid for their friendship. Oh. Yeah. And the hard thing about the gym is headphones. So Anytime you try to talk to someone, you say something, and then they pull their ear earbud out, and they're like, what? What? Mm -hmm. And then you have to say it again, and that's pretty awkward. So if you, if, if you can push past that, and if you want to push past that, then that's your, that's your first hurdle. Mm -hmm. One thing I would say is I think a lot of people, whether they, whether they are right or not, they like to have the gym time be their not talking to anybody time. Yeah. They, I think, I think some people think they need that. Do they really need that? I don't know. No, they need to be friends with me. Right. Is what they need. Strong armed. Someone did talk to me yesterday. Nice. Just yesterday, I was, I had my camera set up filming, and I was working on dragon squats as I do every leg session, which oh, is that, yes, yeah. the weird looking, crazy pistol squat that where you hold your leg, because I want to be as cool as that girl that you sent me on TikTok, right? Cassie. Yeah, I think that's what her name is. Good shout out, Max. <laughs> <laughs> I can look it up. Uh, she does. Is that what it's, I didn't know what it's, it's called. It's called a dragon, dragon squat. squat. Yeah, I, I don't know if she named it. Is it because your body looks like a dragon head? It, yeah, it looks freaking cool, and it needed a Sweet. freaking cool name. So uh, it's a pistol squat. So you hold your own toe, and then you do a pistol squat. But with your, behind your other, but behind your other leg. Right. Yeah. You do a pistol squat, and you hold your other le your, your off leg behind your squatting leg. Brittany Kate's Fitness. Close. Way off. Way off. <laughs> so look her up because she does it all the time on both legs too. Oh, I can I can barely do one. Okay. There's a C in there. I was close. But yes, there was a C. He's still on it. Okay, so I'm working on that and I'm like, and he comes over and stands next to me while I'm on the ground, like really almost falling, almost getting it, whatever. And I'm like, you know, this is a gym etiquette thing too. He shouldn't have come over to me until I finished my move, right? For sure. But whatever, so he's there, and I get up, and, I, and he's smiling at me, and I'm like, oh, cool, I hope that he's seen what these are, and we're going to chat about... He knows pretty fast. Yes, fitness. right? Yeah, maybe he's got some advice. Maybe he wants to hold the camera for me. That That's that's what it is. And he goes, are you going to be done with the squat rack soon? And I was like, oh, no, I definitely don't need the squat rack to be doing this. <laughs> Let me get out of your way. <laughs> that's unbelievable. That's so funny. Oh, what a but he point. was smiling. Yeah. yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. But no, I'm an idiot. I mean, it, this gym is so empty that I just put my camera in the squat rack and started doing it there because that's how much how many squat racks they have usually. So this right. was the first time that, I mean, I didn't wait for the squat rack, but he had to ask me to get out, and I was obviously Were obliged. Were empty squat racks and he was just being a jerk? Mm. <gasps> Maybe he was his opener. <gasps> He needs to learn how to make friends. Oh no, and then I awkwardly left very promptly. This is a great social club you're a part of. <laughs> very social, this club. Oh man, I could have been friends with him. Ugh. Anyway, that went great. So that I'm went great. Working on it. Oh yeah, so that's the number one gym etiquette thing that I want to bring up, is don't talk to someone while they're in the middle of the thing. Like, if you do need to ask how many sets do you have left or whatever, wait until they set the weight down. Yeah. That is very important. I also think I have a phobia of talking to girls in mid-workout because... You don't know if they're in the middle of a rep, they're just... A part of it is the rest. Yeah, I don't know. I just... Especially if they're doing something difficult. And it sounds like you were in the middle of something difficult. Also... Oh, I about, looked really dumb though, How close I? did he invade your personal space? Oh yeah, he was right next to me. Definitely closer than we are. Like, when I came up, his face was here, and I was like, like ah. look at this smiling face, I got a new friend. Oh, nice, a new friend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. People, I think people are real touchy about their personal space, and I never want to, like, get in somebody's space. I have no issues with personal space, so it's something like... Oh, I do. I don't, sure. like, it doesn't occur to me, so I'm very paranoid, and I know that, so now I'm paranoid about, now I go overboard. Yeah, right, yeah. right, right. So you're shouting, hey, when are you done? From across the room. What's for dinner, Mom? <laughs> <laughs> it's your own mom. <laughs> I would say, and you know what else is I don't love is when someone motions to take out your headphone. Oh yeah, or like roll down here. 
yeah. roll down your window. Roll down your window, take out your headphone. I'm like, dude, don't tell someone to roll to take out their win take out their window or roll down their headphone. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's so I'm you're like, that. screw you, uh, my audiobook is not stopping for you. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know about that. Yeah, I don't I don't I think you were probably in the right there, but it sounds like your social club is full of social misfits, so I'm not sure how Get they, uh, out. We all obviously have many, many followers. <laughs> And <laughs> uh, let's see, gym etiquette. My first one that I wrote down was don't talk. Just don't talk? <laughs> oh, fine. My, my first one I wrote down literally was don't talk, then don't talk to girls. Mm, mm hmm, mm hmm. I so think that's pretty fair. Bros, maybe? Bros, definitely. Uh, you initiate, you start, you, well, you have to build rapport over a couple of weeks, starting with fist bumps. You would physically touch a dude just to be like... So... Okay. Well, first you start with head nods. Then okay. if the head nod goes well for a week, then you graduate to fist bump. Huh. Then it goes well for a week. Then maybe an audible, like, sup. Interesting. And then eventually... it. I mean, I mean, it's a very slow progression, but by the end of it, you're just like, Dude, you're looking huge! <laughs> And then the other guy's like, just trying to catch you, my man. How about these quads? And you know what I mean? So it's a really pleasant, mm. if you can get to the end of the tunnel, it's a very pleasant uh, end, end there. You are an odd species. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I feel like in the gym, girls are just insulting each other. The bathroom, though, if you're drunk in a bathroom, that's when girls are nice in the bro way. Yeah, they're incredibly nice, as I understand. That's great. I've never gotten more compliments than in the mirror. Girls, you look amazing tonight. Yeah. I want Where that did you get on the those... platform. Yeah. I, can say, I will say the bros are very nice by and large. I know that's sort of a that's a big bucket to uh, to create, but I think gym bros are nicer than they seem. Yeah. One thing that I've seen, I guess, a lot on TikTok. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know how real or not real it is. Yeah. Is people filming themselves doing a rep of something or, yeah. or an exercise, and then someone walks through it, and then the person is like, "Oh, are you are you serious?" That's me. That's me. And I'm, or behind and, me even. I'm like. Yeah, and Dress I'm kind of like, bro, you gotta chill on that one. Ah. You really have to chill. I mean, maybe for your gym, your exclusive Insta social club gym, that's different. But like, you're at a 24 hour fitness, and like, some old lady is just shuffling through your shot. Like, I'm sorry, dude. You... And a lot of times, it's pretty far away, you know, because they want to get their whole body. Yeah, the distance, yeah. So, and so the, the camera isn't right fine. next to them, it's 8 to 10 feet away, or 10, 15 feet away. And, they like they they huff in this very sort of spoiled bratty like <laughs> are you serious like, you know I don't think I've ever got done that well, I just keep it internal I bottle it up and then I squat harder sure because I'm mad smart. about it that's really smart that's a Massachusetts that's a Boston thing anyway with everything emotions <laughs> so I will very etiquette. yeah so that to me is like the it's like it's like gym etiquette has gone a little too overboard with. So That's if you not, won't stop, you'll cross in front. I would stop. I stop, because I know what's going on. And I'm sure if you explained it to the old lady, she would yes, she People would are stop not as too. aware as us, yes. But if you're not cognizant, we're also professional content creators. I have an eye for where there's a camera, where there's a tripod. I step up and turn my light on. Yeah, exactly. Give them a little... Big that, time. Now we can see those quests. Such a great flashlight move. That's such a great move of bar. No, no. I remember, favorite. like, the last couple of weddings I've been to, I've, been, like, seen the, the wedding photographer, like, vulture in, and I, like, stand up straight, and I, like, grab Brittany, and I'm like, ha, <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, and super candid. Yeah. Love it. Okay, so, so I, I don't cross think... in front of camera. But there's this thing at CrossFit gyms specifically, I haven't seen it at machine bro gyms, mm -hmm. crossing in front when someone's just doing an Olympic lift. Like while they're doing their reps, you'll stop and not cross their eye line when they're focusing on lifting something heavy. Yeah. This is bizarre to me because then I just focus on now, okay, this guy's in my peripheral waiting to cross in front of me and I got to finish my rep and then I'm... Then I mess it up because I just want to get done. Yeah. But th this is a thing, and people take it seriously in CrossFit gyms. They won't cross in front of your doing only. 
Well, if it's really heavy, yeah, you don't want to do anything that could mess them up. Right, but I feel like be standing There's in the peripheral so messes me up. There's so problems with that, though. Yeah. You know, how do I know if this is your 1RM or if this is you're doing sets of 15? Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I'm waiting I don't you. know if this is a walk in the park for you. Like, I think it, it came out of, I don't want to mess this up for you if this is really heavy and you're only going to yeah. do one or two. Because then it's kind of dangerous. Like, you do the same thing at bars with pool. You're not supposed to walk behind the pocket as the guy's shooting pool. Oh, interesting. Pool etiquette. Pool etiquette. Don't pee in it. <laughs> <laughs> Wings. Wings only. Uh. So I think I think that's fine. I know at box gyms or at uh, bro gyms sometimes like if a guy is pressing it's, I find it very difficult if they're if they pull their bench right in front of the dumbbells and I have to like put my dumbbells mm, right back. Mm -hmm. So like I will, I'll wait till the set is over before I put him back. But also he's a jerk because he pulled his, the chair right up to the dumbbells so that like no one can take yeah, the well dumbbells. Yeah, what the heck? Or doing your curls right in front of the dumbbells—that's another thing. I hate that. Yeah, people do that though. I know. Or they're... using the dumbbells as a front, uh, like a where you should be using a bench to lean forward and do bent over rows. Brace yourself, yeah. Yeah. So. Also, you need to lean way more over to do those rows, you dummy. <laughs> yeah. You're making it easy. Loser. Uh, there are machine setups where yesterday, same session, I was doing calf raises. And <laughs> Flex. the way that the calf raises, I use a calf, calf raise machine now. How crazy. That faces directly at the guy doing the lat pull down. So he's there doing it. Nice. And then I step up and just like in his eye line. Nice. Absolutely right in front of him going boop, boop. Boop with my toes. And that's how I met your father. <laughs> I remember this. That's amazing. Did you, how did you feel? What, were the, what was running Bad. through? Bad. Yeah. <laughs> there was nothing, because I'm not going to not break his eye line. I just, you, so then you try and like look other ways. And so then, ugh. Oh, man. Yeah, it's a whole thing. At the Gold's basement gym one time, they had one of those pull-up bars that was pull-up bar on one side and um, parallel bars on the other side okay, yeah, for yeah. dips. And I was always like, wouldn't it be weird if like two people, and then one day I saw it, they both were like psyched up and then walked right up to face each other. And one guy was doing pull-ups and the other guy was doing dips and they were eye to eye. <laughs> and I'm like, this is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> it was oh. incredible. And then they just like left. And I'm like, did you guys know each other? You didn't even know each other? This wasn't a joke? Oh it my was God. insane. I'm was... imagining an anime scene where it like cuts it's close up to a guy's Shoot. face. Yeah, it like zooms away. <laughs> <laughs> and then like, their arm like pulsing, you know? And, like a vein. Like... <laughs> oh man. Uh, okay, so, okay. Not... so that's a good Crossing point in though. in front is fine. Well, eye function. contact. Yeah. What do you think about eye contact at the gym? Never. Never. I know, I'm not allowed to, yeah, I'm not allowed to make eye contact. You can't you can't make friends at the social club. <sighs> well, I'm sorry. Oh, I even at the pool too. So I went to the pool after mm. working out. And God, this is so lame. Because I saw this dude working out down with me and then I saw him at the pool. I was like I I talked to him in the pool. I was like, Did I just see you doing overhead press earlier? And he's like, <laughs> yeah. And I was like Oh my god, that's so dorky. Shut because I know he's doing a great job. He, he like hit a sticking point and then like got through and I was yeah. really proud of him. So I was really like, proud of this person I've yeah. never read before. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he looked like a Chet. Yeah. We call him Chet. Chet. So I said to him, oh yeah, love that. Just this got my it. workout in and then I came to the pool. And then he was just sort of like, um, mm, yeah. And like pushed back into the pool and, and swam away. Nice. And I'm like... Okay, that didn't go so well, and then like immediately saw him with his girlfriend. I'm like, ah, oh, dude, I wasn't hitting on you. It was just I want. <sighs> it's fine. I understand if you were concerned that she would be threatened by me. And Obviously, my, and my overhead press knowledge. Every chick is threatened by my overhead press knowledge. Hide your girlfriends. <laughs> I'm coming through with these delts, baby. <laughs> Oh wow, what a what a journey I went on yesterday, Good huh? Old chat. You had a chat chat. Yeah. <laughs> you were waiting for that one. <laughs> wow. I I don't know. Does that happen to you a lot? When like you talk to a guy and he's like, I have a girlfriend. Um Because it doesn't happen to me a lot. Can't see No, of course not. They're like, Well, I will leave my boyfriend for you. <laughs> <laughs> no. 
<laughs> You're like, what? Pushing the dude's face away. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe I don't. I don't. I don't feel like I notice it, and I also don't feel like I notice the the girl version of that. Okay, that's also me projecting because he clearly just didn't want to be friends with me. And I'm like, well, it's because he thought I would yeah. that his girlfriend would be threatened, but who knows? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> nah, I think you're probably right. Okay. Was she? Uh, d did she overhead press also? Could you be out? out, out Dang, I don't know. Her? See, I should have yeah. uh, challenged her. Yeah. Or at least. Just that should be her. your power move is like if a guy shuts you down you just hit on his girlfriend. Pressing <laughs> 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 next to her. <laughs> so. <laughs> so I guess pool etiquette just also. Pull, also the swim you. away. Is, yeah, I can, no. I can picture that perfectly. <laughs> it's so funny. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Shoosh. Yeah. That's exactly how it went. Yeah, that's funny. Oh, but then I made friends with the people that work there, too. The one guy, Nabil, because I nice. obviously now know him on a first name basis, like, always points out my shoes not matching. So at least I can make friends with the employees. That's smart. It's also smart to remember his name. People like their names. I, uh, people I like to, their names. That's I was true. talking to Eric um, Artel, mm -hmm. and he was like, oh, I have a list of on my phone. I, like, I'm really bad with names, so I keep people's names. So, so like, this is... Uh, like people I met at Orlando, mm -hmm. blah, 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 blah. and it was like people, um, he, not like at work, but he's like, oh, people I met, I met at this golf club, mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, that's funny. I have a list too. It's just names. <laughs> and he was like, what? And I was like, yeah, check it out. And I showed it to him and it was like, <laughs> Chet. it was like jacked New Orleans guy, Dave. And he's like, and that makes sense to you? And I was like, yeah, I, I know who Dave is. I love Dave. And then it was like, uh, Denora, cleaning. <laughs> wow. He's like, and these are just yeah. names of people you've met? And I was like, yeah, Marshall, Bodega. <laughs> also, Kathy Sue's dog. <laughs> wow, I gotta write that down. Well, I have a different one for dogs, obviously. Do you start, you start categorizing by the actual name? So here's all the Joshes I know, and here's all... This is my dog list. Oh wow, you really do have a dog. Fluffy white neighbor. Bra black and brown fluff. Wow, that's crazy. Is Braxton in here or the parentheses, what? Parentheses. No, this is people I know on, on walks. The parentheses is their owner. <laughs> so the, the dog takes precedence and you're like, whatever, this is the person that feeds yeah. it. Oh, right. So I guess that person exists. Yeah, that's so funny. Oh, ridiculous. Yeah, dogs. Okay. What's the etiquette on using a machine incorrectly? <laughs> well, who's to say that I'm using it incorrectly? Yeah, yeah, you just thrust on the squat rack. Or thrust on the Smith machine. I guess I've seen that, actually. Well, I think the issue is, my only issue would be if you're hogging a machine and you're doing it wrong. Mm. So, like, your dragon thing. You can do your dragon thing anywhere. Right. You don't need to do it in the squat rack area. That was just an empty area. Or rowing in the squat rack. I mean, I know you want to start from a higher position, but come on, deadlift it and then row it, bro. I know. Oh, well, unless it's unless they need the barbell. Yeah. Okay, fine. All right, here's my gym etiquette. Judging too quickly. Mm. <laughs> I would say hogging the equipment is bad if... It, well, it's, it's bad if you're hogging the equipment. Mm -hmm. You're taking 15 minutes. Are you doing supersets so you have like a kettlebell yeah. and a barbell? Yeah. And Chill. some dumbbells. Just relax. Yeah. Who knows what a superset is anyway? That doesn't even, that's not a real thing. No. <laughs> but I would say if you're hogging, if you're taking way too long, if you're using the equipment incorrectly, or you don't need to be doing that there, and there's only one, like say you were doing bent over rows and you put your hand on a bench and there's only one flat bench available and yeah. you, that's the one you're using. Come on, dude. Like, right, let someone bench press. I would say that's annoying. But I'd, I never want to say, like, you're using that wrong, because then, like, what if you're not? <laughs> you know? You what if I'm wrong? And I'm like, dude, that's not how you do it. And they're like, actually, I'm doing a different exercise than the one you're thinking of. And you're like, ah, 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 ah. I have a fitness podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the amount of times I've said that. Yeah. Just kidding. So, I, I don't know. I, I wouldn't say that's as big of an etiquette thing. I would say the bigger etiquette for me thing is re-racking. Yeah. Great which, question. Which is a crazy common 
um, thing that people don't re -wreck. unrack. Don't put their stuff back where they got it. Yeah, or leave it. Or leave it where specifically the leg press, which is so insulting to me because I know they leave a couple forty fives on because they're like, no one's gonna do less than this. I'll just <laughs> leave it here, and then I gotta take them off and put on thirty fives. Yeah, there's a guy in our gym who leaves. Um, he leaves both 50 pound dumbbells in the middle of the one area where you can work out. And Brittany's like, I can't pick that up. Oh. You know? Like, I can roll it out of the way, but it's That's fucking, true. it's dumb. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm like, yeah, it's a dumb way to. Bell. <sighs> nice. Woo! Puke. So I would say put your stuff back. Also, I mean, talking about the people that work at the gym, those poor. I know, they're doing that. They're doing that for everybody. That's really insulting. Ooh, how funny is this? Another time I got to talk to one of the employees. They're, okay, imagine a racked barbell and then a 45 plate on one side, but... I'm with you. Only on one side, and on, on the collar... Oh, I don't know what that thing is called. On the barbell, as far out as possible. So it's basically flush with the end of the barbell to the that. point where you think it's going to tip over. Yeah. yeah, and it's just sitting there like that. I'm like, who would leave? <laughs> that is very dangerous. I'm not going over there. It's gonna whack me in the head. Yeah, it's and then like a I mouse see trap. two separate. <laughs> I'm trying to catch some bros. It's a meathead trap. Oh my! Uh, <laughs> it's just men, men walking over and getting caught. <laughs> man after man. Yeah. Okay. I could fix this. <laughs> I saw two separate employees go over there and try and pull it off, and it was stuck there. It just. And I'm, that's, I'm like, that's what? silly. What? That's nonsense. It can't be. Because the first person doing it was a female, so I'm a little sexist. And sure. I was like, oh, the little lady can't pull it off? What? Typical. And then dude comes over a few minutes later. He also can't pull it off. So I'm like, all right, something's up. I walk over. I'm like, can I help you? He's like, yeah, grab that side of the barbell. He's holding onto the plate. I'm holding onto the barbell, and he's yanking me towards him. <laughs> <laughs> because I couldn't stay in place well enough. It's like a weird was, squid game. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then, so I I couldn't help. I gave up. He now placed the plate on the ground with the barbell, and he's trying to yank it by standing oh, yeah. on the plate, by yanking it up. Couldn't get it off. Something was wrong with the way it was machined. It got stuck, and he's like, I have to call the manufacturer. Wow. Yeah. Weird. Mm-hmm. How did it get stuck? I don't know. But how it did got it get put on? on and then couldn't get off. I know. Weird. So strange. Was the barbell racked when you started? Yeah. Or was it on the ground? It was racked. Okay, well that's a, that's a dick move. You should put it on the ground. What? You mean? The barbell. Once, should have been on the ground. If it was stuck? Once it was stuck, uh, yeah. push it back, put it on the ground. Yeah, someone just left it there like that. They so probably went and told the front you know. desk. And they sent a chick to handle it. <laughs> Never <laughs> send a... Uh, Chick to handle a manufacturer's job because the guy Never and I could not do it to fix a manufacturer's issue that clearly is going to cost thousands of dollars to fix. <laughs> <sighs> oh, that's cool. Okay, so you think even taking all the the stuff off of the the leg press because I've uh, it seems like that's not a part of the gym etiquette. Yeah, everywhere I go, there's always stuff on leg press. Forty fives. Hack squat. Yeah, always something on. Like at least one forty-five on the hack squat. I, I just find it's really insulting because it's like, dude, not everyone is you. Yeah. You know, and it, and for someone to leave it there, it, it just stinks of like I can't possibly think about anyone other than myself. Or if other people exist, it's other people like right. me. Wait, I thought of a good example. Doing calf raises in the leg press, and since someone's waiting to leg press, and you're like, deep, 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 <laughs> you're still you're still pro doing the wrong thing in the. If you can do it somewhere else, and I know what you're doing, yeah. then go do it somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. Go use the calf raise machine. Yeah. It's called a calf raise machine. Okay. I think gym etiquette, I mean, not, not to like shorten the episode into a tweet, but it's just like, think about other people. <gasps> Is it the golden rule? Do unto others as you'd have them do unto you. But I want everyone to talk to me, and no one wants me to talk to them, so that doesn't apply. That's true, so these are openers for you. So like that lady, when I was stretching, you should yeah. just start stretching wrong. Maybe more oh yeah, maybe will someone come will come see. <laughs> Look like I'm gonna injure myself and someone will come to my aid. Um, 
What do you feel about letting people work? I mean, it seems like a silly oh, question because yeah. you just said that you want to talk to people. But what do you? What about people working in with I you? I do not want to work in with you. This is very different. Let wow. me tell you. I am smaller than you. <laughs> almost guaranteed. And the, <laughs> and we're not even talking about the weight that I'm lifting. We're talking about the height of the lat pull down bench that I'm using. I'm gonna have to make it very different sized for me than you. Oh, especially leg curl. Don't even come to me a leg curl. There are three different areas that I need to adjust to make it as small as possible for my tiny little body. And then you're gonna cram yourself in there and change the pin? No thank you. No thank you. Someone's actually asked, cause I'll be waiting for the leg curl. This was at LA Fitness, certainly not at my empty gym. And they're like, you wanna work in? And I'm like, no, I'm very small. <laughs> I'll, I'll wait <laughs> because honestly it is a huge hassle especially yeah and then if you're doing I don't I don't know different weights with with free weights too that's a tough one different weights is that's where I would start and, and it feels like people like end up there you know it's almost like you want to work in with me I'm like well we have to do the same thing because I don't yeah. want to be racking and unracking weights every five sec every set right every rep I mean or whatever like the, it's so dumb, and like like a flat bench is the, the most common, I would say. Yeah. But I'm like, dude, this is as high as I'm going, and so if you're moving up, right, this is annoying. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or you could wait four minutes, and I'll be out of here. You know? It's yeah, and then very, we can very clean it, and we're not sweating on the same thing. You right. put your towel down, etc. Yeah. Yeah. It's annoying. You can take your own selfie. Okay. What are your thoughts on if you take your own selfie? Although, um, I will say, at um, the Golds, do you remember I did that, I think it was a TikTok video where I was like hump, humping, Yes. I was pushing the leg It was a thing. leg curl and yeah. you were humping it for Valentine's Day. I, it was a very funny video, shout leg out to me, yes. uh, but it was, I just found a random guy to film me at that gym. <laughs> and I was like, hey man, can you film me doing this thing? And he was like, sure. Because a lot of people would film each other doing real workouts, exercises. Yeah. And I was like, I'm gonna be down here and I'm gonna like hump it. And he was like, okay. <laughs> and I'm like, it's it's a, it's funny, it's for it's a joke for Valentine's Day. He's like, no, I, I get it. This is why we started this podcast, because <laughs> no one in the fitness world has a sense of humor. Oh, goodness. But to his credit, I mean, he did a really, you know, he like moved or mm. he panned around, yeah. he got a really good angle. Cinematography. Like, he, you know, it's LA, shocker. I'm sure he's like, yeah. I'm sure it's, it was, it's like Hans Zimmer, not Hans Zimmer, he's a yeah, music yeah. guy, but it's, you know. <laughs> Steven Spielberg. There yeah, it's like Spielberg being like, no, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, so what do you feel about asking people to film you? This wasn't even on my list. But uh, it's a new, it's a new world now. I know. Because the, no one I, the one I had written down was uh, about tripods. I feel like tripods in the last five or ten years, tripods in gyms are now incredibly common. Yeah. Whereas before 2010, 2015, I, I've never, I would have never seen a tripod right. in a gym. And I was doing content for, you know what I mean? Right. But now, I mean, not only do I see it in person, but I see it on TikTok in the background of some fitness videos. Some Other cool. gigantic jacked bodybuilder dudes doting around this dainty little... Uh, tripod. tripod but yeah. for some reason they got the smallest tripod I've yeah, ever seen. Right. It's like it Actually looks like, that's a normal size tripod. <laughs> they're just <laughs> It looks like straightened spaghetti. You know what I mean? Yeah. In, in their in their arm in their burly arms or whatever. Yeah. See now I never thought about this. I guess I should I could start asking people to help me out because there's a no tripod rule. The problem is I know they're gonna blow it. They're not Steven Spielberg. There's right. it's like if I just set up a good angle for my own yeah. thing I know I'm gonna get the shot versus crap I just cleaned that and you didn't get it because it was only my neck up I know uh, also sidebar if you need a makeshift tripod uh, you take a work bench or workout workbench and you put it 90 degrees right so yeah. it's straight up and then you take one of those ankle rubber bands yeah. And you give it one twist and then you put it around the top of the thing. And then you just tuck your phone in that little pocket there. Oh my goodness. So it's like higher up. Yep. Oh wow. Isn't that nice? Yeah. I mean, for you, it's probably like bird's eye view. Shut up. Now I'm just pulling the bench around the entire. <laughs> no tripod. It's not a tripod. Watch this. <laughs> 
Uh, actually, uh, uh, mm, technically. You have your glasses? Mm, technically. That's not a tripod. That's my legs and my dick, sorry. <laughs> oh, Max. There's also a second, well, there's a first floor with, with all the free weight machines, and then some cables, and then there's a whole cable floor. A cable floor? That's yeah. awesome. Floor three. So sometimes I'm on one, sometimes I'm walking past the spa, and locker rooms on two up to three. Typical. Yeah. And so then sometimes I'm taking the kettlebells up to three if I want to do supersets. So that's like another extra farmer carry. Can't you just, are there ropes between floors that Ooh, you can climb? Like a reverse... Fireman's pole, where you have to rope climb to floor three. <laughs> I can't, I can't foresee any danger in that at all. Oh my that sounds goodness! Great. I can't wait to rent the upper floors of this building and just build that out in my studio. Smart. There was a, um, there was a the music, the children's museum in Boston. There was a, like an atrium, and they just put a bunch of crisscross rubber bands, and we could like climb between floors. It was cool. so much fun. That sounds dangerous. Incredibly dangerous. Oh, wow, okay, yeah. sure. Lost well, a lot of kids to that yeah. science. It's, it's more about uh, <laughs> weeding out the... <laughs> it's like a strainer more than anything else. You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. <sighs> uh, my last one was don't dry scoop your pre-workout. Do that in your car before you come in. Oh, because you're going to make a mess. Yeah. Also, How messy is it? Scaring that. You're oh, you're scaring, scaring people. <laughs> just me. You're scaring me. It's horrifying. I can't believe people do that. Do you do that? No. Christine does it, and she just did it on a TikTok, and then was coughing the next day, yeah. and Googled it, and was like, I may already be dead. Like, <laughs> supposedly. Like the old cinnamon challenge. You ever do that? Yeah, it was like that. It's, that's that's the first thing I think of. Like, I'll do it, and then I'll be like, <laughs> and then I'll just like <laughs> snot out a bunch of neon blue or whatever exactly yeah. but i guess you can breathe it and get if it stays in your lungs you'll get an infection but that sounds sure. pretty far-fetched for that doesn't happen that often no but, but i could. mean christine read that and was just like oh no yeah. <laughs> and the article was actually about overdosing on caffeine and that's how you die and i'm like you're not going to die from dry scooping you're going to die if you had too much and you had one scoop calm somebody working out it's a dog. Oh, that's a dog. I thought that was a person. No. Oh my god. I was about to be so freaked out. You want to write down that dog's name? What's your dog's name? <laughs> What's your dog's name? Uh, Alright, so no dry scooping. So, I, think I, I, I think dry scooping is stupid in general, but... It's also in, meant in the thing to. Is, oh, okay, here's one. What about carrying a big gym bag around with you while you're working? Well, around? I do that and no one else does. Weird. Why do you, what do you have in there? Uh, let's talk about it. My Theragun, because my shoulder hurts, and I'm Theragunning in between uh, reps. Okay. My lifters, because I'm going from barefoot training to doing, I can't, I can't do barefoot and cleans, you know? Mm. So if I'm doing Olympic lifting, I need my Shoes. lifters. So I switch Shoes. to my shoes. I have a water bottle that is full of pre-workout because I take pre-workout with water. Thank you. And... Oh, um, I'm now following a program that's in a physical book that I purchased, so I have that with me. A physical book? I, I, I mean, it was digital. What year is this? I paid extra $10 to Juji Mufu so I could physically have it. One, because I want to support him and his awesomeness, and two, I could film it for the video that I'm making about it. I could show the, the book, which is much more satisfying than being like, well, it's on my phone. <laughs> Anyway, that's like, a lot of stuff to carry it's around. Like when people have their Bible on their iPad, and I'm like, <laughs> that feels weird for some reason. I don't yeah. know why. It just this is feels not weird. what God intended. <laughs> John, when he wrote it down with his scroll. John, and John, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I never understood what what people had in those bags, uh, and and when I would sneak a look, and a towel. It was like completely empty, and it was just like a pre workout and a towel, and I'm like, well, okay. But that being said, I do. I carry water, but I, I was from years and years of never working out with any water or anything else. Yeah. You know? But now I'm now I'm a water boy. Fully boy. hydrated. I'm a water boy for sure. See, and there are lockers on the second floor. I'm not going all the way up there. I'm just gonna start working out. So yeah. I carry my bag with me. But it seems nobody does that. Hmm. In LA Fitness at this posh gym, I don't see it. I don't like what. Are you people are so low maintenance? Come on, don't you need at least three items? Ugh. Something to <laughs> necessitate a bag. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> or one big item. <laughs> I bring my own exercise ball. 
And a pump. And a pump. Uh. <laughs> oh, that's great. Uh. <sighs> All right. Well, thank you for the inside info. This was just a self-serving episode. Now I know how to be cool in high mat. Oh, oh my well. last one was don't sweat. What do you think about sweat? So that's a tough one. Well, if you do, wipe it off, I guess. But with a towel or with those disinfecting wipes? Hopefully disinfectant wipes. That's what, I would, that's what I would hope, too. But I am aware of how gross skin-to-skin -skin sweat transfer can be. How often are you wiping before you use something? Wiping when the, someone when else's When there's thing. wipes, every time. Every time. But, Jim's always out of wipes. Oh. Sucks. Huh. Or when you, they are there, they're all dried out because yeah. it's been sitting. Yeah. Yeah. But I would say, and, okay, let's close on this. Wash your hands. Take a shower after you work out, but at the minimum, wash your hands. Mm -hmm. Please wash your hands. Before you head home. So gross. Yep. Agreed. Definitely take a shower, but wash your hands. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, we've I wash been saying it since, since March 2020. In theory, I wash my hands in the shower also. <laughs> no, I do it beforehand, like brushing your teeth before you go to the dentist. Yeah, I brush my teeth in the shower too. You were the second person that I've ever heard of doing that. First person was a friend of mine that was in my dance company and she had really bright white teeth. Shout out to Brittany. Different Brittany. Different Brittany dancer. Brittany Different Rexrow. hot. Britney dancer. Yes, exactly. I, I don't believe that. All the There's Britney dancers one. are hot. <laughs> That's so funny. Redundant. And I was like, oh, well, how are your teeth so white? And she's like, I don't know. I brush them in the shower. That's so weird. As though that's that's why. That's why. How? I don't know what you do. <laughs> it wasn't presented like that. She was very sweet. So, is that how you attribute your hue of teeth? I just never understood why people don't do it. It's awesome. Cause you can just be like, ah, I don't know. Whereas like the amount of times I've been like dressed, ready to go. and like, oh, I should brush my teeth. It's like a nice thing. I just had some coffee. And then I get toothpaste on my shirt. You You're know such I mean? a slob. Hey, I'm saying what you Uh, nothing. I'll, I know how to get mustard out of state, but nothing gets toothpaste out. I'm saying which mask can not brush my teeth. I can't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> and then I sneeze. Uh. <laughs> uh. Oh my god, I'm dead. Yeah. Uh. Whew. Highly recommend it. Let us know in the comments if you have trouble brushing your teeth and not making a mess. <laughs> I feel like it's rare, but I might be wrong. Yeah. You'd be surprised. Uh, okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's a great place to end. Find us on Apple Podcasts, rate and review. I think I said iTunes last time. That's long gone, right? Does iTunes still exist? I think iTunes still exists. Okay. Well, find us on your rate and review section of, ooh, Spotify even. Mm -hmm. Go see us there. I wonder if we're, oh, I wonder if there are reviews we haven't seen because we, oh, we got to look at all the other platforms. <gasps> Get your second review in. If you've already reviewed on Apple Podcasts, you can go <laughs> submit another question or review elsewhere. How, where else are we? Stitcher? Stitcher. Yeah. Exactly. And then our own site, just totalfitheads.com, takes you to our own place where you can leave comments, which my mom has because she thought that was Apple and it wasn't. Oh my God. Shout out to Allie's mom. That was, that's on my notes. What's up? Is that that's the goal every time to say hi to my mom? Well, we have to we have to start doing it every time. We should start. I know. So anyway, I, I, shout out Alex's mom. We got it. Check. I filled in Max that my mom started listening to every episode, and I think I mentioned her in the last, the previous one. So we got a streak of two right now. Here we are. Here we are. <laughs> All right. We'll see you next week.